What's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's talk about this NBA young boy situation. It looks like there's more details that came out today, man. Now, everybody was scratching their head wondering why in the world the feds were running down on NBA young boy. Even though we all knew that in the back of our head, this day was soon coming. Because NBA young boy lives a high fly lifestyle and he lives pretty wild, man. He's out there on the edge. But when he got arrested by the alphabet boys, I'm talking about them feds, man, everybody went to looking and thinking, man, is this the end for NBA young boy? Well, we got some news today that seems to paint a picture of what actually is going down here behind the scenes and why authorities were on his tail and grabbed him in Los Angeles. Now, before I get into all the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, even I was wondering, man, why in the world did they grab NBA Youngboy? What is it going to be? Is it going to be the shooting in Miami? Is it going to be the situation that happened out in Baton Rouge recently? Now, it was one of those two, and I'll tell you exactly what it was. It was actually a situation that goes back to September 2020. And this is what caused the warrant. Now, for all intents and purposes, I'm pretty sure that NBA Youngboy thought he was in the clear with this situation because there were so many different judgments after the situation that were in his favor. Now, there's a news publication out there in Baton Rouge by the name of The Advocate, man. I've used them a lot before. They talk about mostly Louisiana news, man. And they've published a story, and basically it says NBA Youngboy arrested in Los Angeles on a federal warrant out of Baton Rouge, his lawyer says. Now, it continues to give details about what his lawyer found out when he went to see what was going on with his client. Because out of nowhere, NBA Youngboy, for those of you who don't know, got arrested yesterday in Los Angeles. He tried to do the run. They sent the canine in there. They ended up apprehending him anyways. It was a lot of man craziness out there in them streets, man. But... Today, his lawyer took to went to the news publications out there in Baton Rouge and basically said this. Now, in the advocate, it, it goes line for line. So let me read the story, man. It says, Baton Rouge rapper NBA Youngboy was arrested in Los Angeles Monday afternoon and taken into FBI custody on a federal firearm warrant out of Baton Rouge. So let's stop right there. So basically, he was taken into custody on a federal firearm warrant Meaning that, yo, he had a warrant out for his arrest because of a firearm related, you know what I'm saying, uh, related charge in Baton Rouge, in his home state of Louisiana. Now, his local attorney confirmed this also on Tuesday, so that being today. A reporter by, by CBS Los Angeles said the rapper's whose real name is Kentrell Golden was arrested around 1 p.m. following an attempted traffic stop that ended with him attempting to run away. Golden's attorney in Baton Rouge, James Manasa, Mansa, I, I want to say it's Mansa, but whatever, said Tuesday he was arrested on a warrant out of Baton Rouge for felony, or excuse me, for a felon in possession of a firearm, a charge that stems from his September arrest in Baton Rouge. Now, for those of you who forgot about the whole September Baton Rouge arrest, this is when it was like NBA young boy and 15, 16 other people that got arrested. And man, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go ahead and play that clip. A dozen guns off the streets tonight and several men arrested after, including rapper NBA young boy. Lead investigator Scotty Hunter has a look at what was seized, but also why the rapper's attorney calls the charges bogus. A broad daylight drug bust landing 16 men behind bars tonight, including Baton Rouge rapper NBA Youngboy. It was crazy. Good. When police got there, the men took off. But a short while later, according to an affidavit, police found oxycodone and other drugs packaged up at the scene, as well as 14 guns, one of which was stolen, plus more than $79,000 in cash. Yeah, all the young boy is in jail. <laughs> This latest arrest comes almost a year after NBA Youngboy was released and a judge actually let him out of his probation early after he met all the court mandated requirements. At the time, the rapper was supposed to relocate out of Baton Rouge for a fresh start somewhere else. Tonight, his attorney calls this arrest ridiculous, saying there's nothing in the report that indicates he did anything wrong. They arrested several people and there was no indication that he had any guns or drugs on him at the time of the arrest. 
The attorney vows his client will be found innocent and all of this cleared up in court. Now, according to the affidavit, David, the rapper did not have a gun on him at the time of the arrest, but right now he's charged with drug and felon in possession of a firearm charges. Greg? Now, in that report, you heard that NBA Youngboy got swept up with a whole bunch of other people, but the last part is real important, man, where they said felon in possession of a firearm charge, because that is the charge, ladies and gentlemen, that have us here today. This is the reason why NBA Youngboy got scooped up allegedly and it seems like this is where the arrest yesterday stemmed from now i don't know how and why or any way that they would be able to contact nba young boy and let him know that he had this hanging over his head because i'm sure that he hit, well let's talk about this story a little bit more so in the story by the advocate they say this they said golden was arrested with 15 others during the arrest there was like 14 guns 17 79 thousand dollars and then there was like a cashier's check or whatnot. And then the Baton Rouge Police Department, Street Crimes Division, and FBI agents had received anonymous complaints of people brandishing guns or whatnot. And that's what led to the arrest. So the officers showed up at 3800 block of Chippewa Street. I'm sure we've all heard that name so many times in all the music. It doesn't even, it's crazy, man. But they also talk about the fact that, you know, never broke again. Bottom Boy Gorilla and TBG, they consider them all gangs, right? We've heard this in various reports before. But remember, in December, the state's district uh, attorney or the state district judge, excuse me, Tiffany Foxworth, she ordered that the Baton Rouge Police Department to return $40,000 in cash and a $300,000 cashier's check to NBA Youngboy, along with two diamond necklaces and a diamond ring. They were all confiscated during the arrest. When that judgment came down, I'm pretty sure NBA Youngboy thought he was in the clear. But in all reality, his attorney, Mr. Manasse or whatever, he was working in the back end to see if he can get him released from this bond supervision that he's on because several months had passed since the September arrest, right? And nobody had filed any formal charges or no formal charges had been filed uh, by the East Baton Rouge District Attorney's Office. Now, this is crazy because you you would think that you know they would be in communications and tell NBA young boy that yo you got a warrant hanging over your head but it seems like it was just a lack of communication now he might have been very well aware of the of the warrant and maybe tried to run on it i mean i'm not shooting him any bail on that but it does seem a little odd when he got all those positive you know results from or those the, the positive from you know getting his check back and all that he probably thought i mean i'm just assuming here you would think that he was cleared of the charges or whatnot so it looks like that at most nba young boy is looking at man the the gun charge so instead of this being like a racketeering charge or anything like that on the federal level it looks like it's just going to be for the gun charge only now that's a significant difference in time than anything he would be looking at if this was a RICO charge. Now, in the story, they also talk about this in the report. Excuse me. They talk about the Miami-Dade shooting and, you know, the situation that went down with allegedly between NBA, uh, TBG, TBG, and, you know, their two groups running into each other, resulting in somebody losing their life. But they still don't say that there's any formal charges from that so it looks like man they hold an nba young boy and you got to wonder is this about holding him and trying to apply pressure to see if he cracks under that pressure or are they going to give any bigger charges to nba young boy because according to what his lawyer is saying it's just the weapons charge and that carries something like a five to ten man a lot of people are saying now with that this being your boy, what do you guys think man do you think nba young boy it has some more charges coming, obviously, if the Alpha boy, Bet Boys picked him up. I'm talking about the Feds, whatnot. Or do you think that maybe they're holding him, holding on to him just to apply a little pressure because they've been on his tail for a long time? Now, with that, this being your boy, Big Man, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace. And oh, yeah, if you made it to this part of the video, make sure you click that like button.